So, Amy, I know that you were involved in a couple of multiple offer situations this weekend. Why don't you tell us about those? I was. Um, we thought we had Labor Day weekend to kind of um, let my client think over um, what he was planning to do. He found a perfect home for him. He thought this is definitely the one. We had been to see it three times together, but he just really didn't know if he wanted to make that decision on Friday. So he said, you know, let's enjoy the holiday weekend. Let's um, get back together on Tuesday. The home had been on the market for a while, so he thought he was safe in doing that. And um, lo and behold, I, I called the listing agent and I said, hey, please give me a heads up. We've got somebody who's really interested. And um, that's when it happened. She called me Monday on Labor Day and said, we've got an offer on the table. So we were all of a sudden in a multiple offer situation and um, he had to make a quick decision. And it was just a lesson learned that in today's market, even if a home's been sitting there for 100 or 200 days, it can happen to you too. So you've got to be prepared um, to handle that multiple offer situation. Right, so last in the last few years, we've seen days on the market almost cut in half in our area. What are some tips that you would give buyers on getting their offers accepted? Well, there's a lot of different negotiation tactics on our contracts. Um, one of the things that we often ask for is closing costs, especially with different loan types. Um, but if you can not ask for as much in closing costs or maybe you can afford to pay for the home warranty yourself or maybe you can even negotiate some of the title expenses to yourself um, especially in those multiple offer situations that will make your offer more appealing yeah because when homes are selling quicker you're going to have multiple offers and you want your offer to be the strongest and i've even had some buyers that um, are are giving list price right up front because yeah. they know there's you know, I have one client, I've looked at 28 homes with them, and so we have depleted that zip code for options for them. So when one comes on the market, the very next day it's going under contract if it fits their criteria. They know if we find one, they've got to be willing to give less price or even above in some situations. Yep. Excellent. Well, thank you. You're welcome.